Newcastle United have just stuffed the Mackhams 3 0. This is how it all happened. It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. So we're 45 minutes away from kickoff from this absolutely huge match, Sunderland against Newcastle in the FA Cup. And I'm here with Helen in Freight, which is, um, if you don't know it, it's just off High Bridge in the city centre, more or less behind the Old George. It's absolutely packed in there with Toon fans, full of hope, full of anticipation that we're going to turn the Mackens hour because we really, really need this win. And the team sheets are out. It's the, the side are fully expected to start. Trippia, of course, comes back in right back. Absolutely, if you've seen me previous video, not a shadow of a doubt uh, about him playing in this game. Knee way was he injured uh, over the new year. Of course, as well, we've got Longstaff uh, on the right replacing Miley. Bruno in the middle with Joe Linton on the left. So it's more or less the squad you would anticipate. The uh, worrying thing is there's absolutely nobody on the bench who could come on and change the game. Um, we've basically put more or less our best 11, our, you know, what was left really out on the pitch. There's a bit of a kind of debate as to whether Livermento should have started ahead of Burn, I have to say. Um, in terms of yeah, Livermento and Burn, I think Livermento is a better all-round player than Burn, but I'm glad Burn's starting. He's a Geordie lad, he's got more experience than Livermento on paper, he might be able to handle these, the occasion a little bit better than Livermento, we'll see. But I'm glad he started, he's a Geordie lad, he would have been desperate to start the year. But at least we've got Livermento to come on, who can perhaps even bolster the midfield if we need to later on. So, we're going to get in there, see what one or two fans think. We'll keep our fingers crossed for this match. Uh, I am I'm nervous, uh, I didn't sleep last night, but we've got a strong team out, trip years in. Hopefully he doesn't make any blunders this time, but I just wish we were playing Livermento left back. Uh, I'm glad we got Joel in the midfield because I thought the midfield got overrun against Liverpool, but it's just one of them. Um, fingers crossed. I uh, feel like crying. I'm so nervous, like it's my first derby day. Um, I'm really excited to be here. It's our first day, so yeah. Woo! <laughs> We've just stuffed the Mackhams 3-0. I cannot put into words, I'm going to try how I feel. Helen, how are you feeling, first of all? Buzzing, buzzing. She's buzzing, I think. <laughs> first, thing, first thing I want to say, Eddie Howe, you know, with all those doubt I was out there, I'll cover that Do later one. on this season. Do, Do one. Yeah. Eddie Howe, magnificent. I am so chuffed for Eddie Howe under all the pressure he's been under recently with that awful run of games for Newcastle to put out a performance like that at the stadium like in an FA Cup derby is absolutely phenomenal because Newcastle United were right up for it the tactics were spot on Eddie Howe if you're watching you're probably not <laughs> of course he will be but why wouldn't he be I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of the team because um, we needed that. That was absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, in the second half, when uh, Joe Linton had to go off, I think he's got a hamstring injury, uh, it becomes scrappy for 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, but what a biting performance by Newcastle. I mean, this this kind of summary isn't going to be laced in tactics, it's about this is emotion. And what I got from that performance was just bait. But, oh, Helen, how does he tell It was brilliant. Absolutely. <laughs> go, Anthony Gordon. Um, you know, I might need to watch the match again. For, but my initial impression is Anthony yeah. Gordon was that absolutely... Was a penalty. Oh, of course it was. It was a penalty. Um, there should have been another penalty uh, when Isaac was brought down. We didn't need a penalty, though, against the Mackens, nah. did we? Uh, that had a couple of half chances. Uh, but, um. Man, <laughs> that feels so good, beating the Mackens 3-0. Um, I'm, I'm just so proud <laughs> of the guys for putting in that moment. We were, from the, from the very beginning, we wanted it more than something. We had more fight 
than Sunderland. We were better tactically than Sunderland from the start. Yeah, in the second half, they had a couple of half chances, but almost start to finish. We thoroughly deserve that 3-0 victory. Chips, uh, looks like he's over Chips. his uh, groin injury. Yeah, tri uh, <laughs> Chips' <is> groin injury. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say thank you, Eddie Howe, for letting him have the New a Year's Eve. A little bit of time off. Yeah, so he can have a little yeah. bit of rumpy pumpy with his lass. <laughs> sort a couple of things out, because that's what he needed, because uh, Trippier was brilliant as well. Mm. I'm good at about uh, Joe Linton, you know, he looks like he might have picked up that hamstring injury. Mm. But uh, brilliant in there, free it. If you haven't been in before, especially with the, um, the dude or roof over the top, it's yeah. a brilliant Dude's place. Uh, to, to hang out and socialise, a bit like the old um, staff, staff that was on Pil Pilgrim's mm -hmm. Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same sort of feel, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Great place to come, great place to have a drink, great atmosphere. What else can you say? Um, we beat the Maggams 3-0, we'll that's what we can say. Yeah, <laughs> because that was a banana skin. Um, under no doubt, that was a banana skin. Sunderland could have been right up for that and caused us problems, but we we took control, we took that game by the scruff of the neck from the whistle at the very very beginning of the game and that's what we needed. Absolutely top performance. <laughs> and we're going to go forward this season to Man City, Aston Villa, we might even get beaten in them two games. You know, because we're threadbare with the squad, squad but hats off. I don't know if you feel the same, let me know down in the comments below how you felt about that performance. Yeah, yes, there's a a huge gulf between Newcastle United and Sunderland on paper at the moment. Obviously, mm. but with the FA Cup, the occasion, the derby at the Stadium of Light, that could have went either way. Yeah. And we deserve the 3-0 victory. See you later. <laughs>